Did you know that budgeting was part of my job? No, I don't think I did know that, but it makes sense. Would you be judgmental of my budget if you had to look at it? I don't know if I said judgmental, as I don't know your area exactly, but it would be interesting to see. Yeah, you'd be like, do you need to get this press person lunch? I don't know. You don't want to go over your budget, Jasmine. I can see it. <laughs> Hi, my name's Jasmine, and I work as a director of communications. Hi, I'm Jasmine's mom, Josie, and I work as a revenue manager. What do you imagine I do on an average work day from start to finish? A lot of meetings, co coordinating with outside people to get people to come to your events or to speak or to or present, and going to events at the museum. I do have a lot of meetings. A lot of those are usually internal because the other half of my job is really dealing with the press world, which is people outside the museum. So anyone who's covering our space and basically just begging people constantly to cover something that I have going on. That's what publicists do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How do you imagine my office or workspace? Well, currently it's at home. That's <laughs> correct, yeah. And I've seen the desk. It's actually grandpa's desk too. I right. work at. It was my dad's desk. Yeah, her dad's desk. <laughs> and it's a really cool mid-century desk. That's where I spend a lot of my time, but then I do have to be at the museum a lot for our events. Me and my coworkers all work together at a giant work table a lot of the times, or sometimes we're running around on our feet, so it just depends. What kinds of skills do you think a communications director needs? A degree in communications. <laughs> Um, good speaking, good selling, basically. Okay, I'm gonna argue I don't think you need a degree in communications. I actually have a degree in journalism. I feel ultimately being a good communications director is just about being really personable, knowing a lot of people. It's all about building your network. So if you can like work with the right people early in your career, you can build that. But of course, a lot of companies do like to see you have a college degree, but I don't actually feel it requires one. I think if you are talented at that, you can, you can grow in that role. I agree, experience can equal a degree sometimes. I think really a lot of, especially PR stuff, it really is just about networking. I used to hate that term when I was younger and I hated the idea of having to go to like networking events. But the truth is if you find the right field, it's not networking, it's just hanging out with the people that you like. And for me, a lot of those people are in my industry and so it's natural to be hanging out with them and making those connections. Hey there, I know, I know, I hate ads, and I'm sure that you do too, but really, really quick. If you're looking for a new job and you don't have the Indeed mobile app, you're seriously missing out. The app is free and makes it easy to apply from your phone. Click the link below or search Indeed in the App Store. What does success look like in this field? Well, moving up, which you did very quickly, um, and moving on if you want to to something else and getting into management, um, putting on a really successful event. I think it's different for everybody. And I think that for me, either you're successful because you now have your dream clients that you've always wanted to work with or the people you've ever wanted to work with and that's success. And I don't know yet exactly where I may wanna grow from here, but I feel like I'm always willing to see, and, and it is just about loving your job and enjoying what you're doing. That's a good point too. Work-life balance is so important. I'm learning, I've learned that even as I've grown and changed jobs, that how important that is over time. Well, you worked a lot when I was a kid, and yeah. um, you know, I feel like definitely I was both inspired by that and I learned from that because you know I think that you've always told me, I don't know if I would have worked as much like that anymore, you know, and I think to me, having Junie, my baby, is like, okay, I don't wanna work as many hours as you had to work, but I also wanna show her what it's like to be a really successful person and like you showed me. Do you like your job? Are you happy there? <laughs> yes, I'm very happy. I always tell my company, I'm like, I do love it here. I've had jobs that you know, I was really unhappy at and you feel trapped. You don't know how you're gonna move forward from it. And I've loved every single day at, at my job. I feel like what's cool, especially being at a music museum, is there's stuff like shows, but there's also exhibits and there's also um, various press opportunities. So every single day is different. They asked us to bring in props from our workspace. And of course, we both bring in <laughs> my daughter. My granddaughter. My little Juniper. I'm always drinking my morning tea with her, you know, and you keep your pens and pencils. It's my pencil holder that my daughter gave me with 
beautiful pictures of the baby all around it that I absolutely love. Before we throw her into the workforce, she's basically <laughs> there already with us. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> do you feel like you have a better sense of what I do for work now? Oh yeah, mm -hmm. I thought I knew it pretty well, but I've learned quite a bit, yes. And it's very, I think it's interesting and sounds really fun. Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, make sure to click through for the next episode of That's My Job, folks. And I get to go to some events, yeah. <laughs> which I like. Always on the guest list. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>